Hi, welcome to Movie Review Mom. If you've never been here before, let me give you this scoop. I try to share what the content is in movies just to give you a heads up so you can make the decision for yourself whether or not you want to watch the movie. So I try to give parents tips also, and I'll give you an overview of the movie and point out things I liked and didn't like. So when you get a second, be sure and subscribe, ring that little bell, and it'll notify you every time I upload a new movie review. And be sure and visit my Facebook group called Movie Review Mom. And then I also have moviereviewmom.com where you can get the full movie review. Enough of that. Let's get talking about today's movie, which is called Barefoot, the Mark Bomber story. This is a documentary, so there is no rating, although I would probably give it a PG. It's an hour and 27 minutes, but the movie review mom grade I'm giving it is an A. I thought it was really well done. In a nutshell, or I should say in a word, ouch. Barefoot, Mark Bomber was a writer, poet, activist who decided to walk across the country of America barefoot to bring awareness to climate change and other environmental issues. Now, whether or not you believe in global warming and climate change, you can't deny Mark's enthusiasm and passion for his cause and his goal. The timing of his movie's release is just as relevant as ever lovingly edited from Bomber's own self-recorded videos on his cell phone, award-winning filmmaker Julie Sokolow creates an inspiring tribute to a remarkable person who lived his life with passion. Mark explains in the film, quote, my journey across the country is a metaphor to not give up, end quote. He literally walked his talk. In fact, he considered it an art form. And so warning for this movie is you may just want to take off your shoes and go for a walk in nature after seeing this inspiring film. Now, some quick tips for parents. Because of Mark's personal beliefs and the timing of his walking adventure, the film is very political and anti-Trump because it actually occurred during Donald Trump's first presidential campaign. And of course, Mark was very anti-Trump. There is talk about life and death. Now, some themes in the movie are, first of all, the movie opens with a, this line by Mark Bomber. It says, it's amazing how often we all forget this is the only opportunity we are ever going to have to live this life. I think that's a great line. He really lived his life that way, knowing that every moment is precious. Uh, other themes are that everyone wants to make a positive difference in the world. Our challenge is to find out what our unique mission is. Life is more than soul-sucking work, as he says. Other themes are passion, taking action, and of course, environmentalism. Now, some of the things that I really liked about the movie are, first of all, I love Mark's exuberance. On the very first day of his adventure, he laughs and yells, oh, this is so beautiful. Thank you, Earth. Ha ha ha. It's Earth. Look at Earth. <laughs> It's adorable, and you can just see how much he loves what he's doing, how much he loves the earth and appreciates it. And I love that because we often take it for granted. Mark has a fun, quirky, and very entertaining personality in his video diary. His comments are very insightful and often hilarious. It was interesting to also see the various things that he ate on his journey, like leaves, well, that's probably the craziest thing. Mushrooms, hummus, garbanzo beans, lots of vegetables. He was a vegetarian. It was also really touching to see how many people actually stopped him as they saw him walking down the road barefoot to offer him shoes or food or money. At one point, he got a dollar donated by someone who was a pro-Trump supporter, and he just thought that that was awesome. It was interesting to watch Mark's reaction to the presidential election almost four years ago and what was happening at the time. 
It was also really impressive to see the sheer quantity of content that Mark produced while walking each day. Not only did he post videos every day on YouTube, he wrote poetry, he updated his blog, he edited everything from his cell phone and kept walking and then made plans for what he was going to do and where he was going to stay. That's just a lot in one day. It was really cute how everyone talked about his feet as if they were a separate entity or person. And several of his friends and family who, whom they interviewed would say, you know, how, how are you doing and how are your feet doing? You know, it was also really sweet to see the outpouring of love and support for Mark from people all over the world. And if you're touched by Mark Bomber's story, you can donate money to the Mark Bomber Sustainability Fund online. His parents created it to support the causes that Mark was so passionate about. Now, there were some things that I didn't quite like in the movie, and that is, first of all, people at the beginning of the movie who were being interviewed talked about Mark in the past tense, giving viewers the idea that Mark passed away. And I didn't know anything about him before I watched this film, and so I was sad to learn within minutes of the movie starting that his adventure was going to end in tragedy. So that's a big spoiler if you didn't know anything about him, his life, and this big goal that he set for himself. So I don't know if there was any other way they could have maybe saved that towards the end of the movie because the whole time I was just thinking, oh no, you know, what, what's gonna happen to him? On the other hand, I guess knowing that something was going to happen made me appreciate, especially all of the days where he was happy and joyful and doing exactly what he wanted to do. Now, there were a lot of funny lines. And on my website, moviereviewmom.com, I write down all of the funny lines, the insightful lines, interesting lines. So you can go on and see all of my review there. But I'll just share a couple of them with you. First of all, Mark is talking about penguins and and he's talking about global warming. And he says, I don't want to live in a world where penguins don't exist, you know, because he was saying that the penguins are going to die. And anyway, it was really sweet. During his journey, he's trying to raise money for this organization and he gets to a thousand dollars and he says, he says, oh, I've, you know, we're so close to the goal. And then he says, wait, that math can't be right. What's a hundred million minus a thousand or I forget the exact numbers, but anyway, it was just really, really cute. I loved his childlike wonder. He bought a red pepper from the grocery store and he took a bite out of it, which I actually do as well. And then inside it was like a green pepper. And he says, whoa, I can't believe my red pepper has a green pepper inside it. Whoa. And he, I just loved how he was thrilled with everything that came across his way. I, I just love that he appreciated so much about the amazing miracles that we see in life and things around us. And then here's another sweet line that he says, thank you world for all the things I get to touch with my eyeballs. And I thought that that was really cute too. All right, that's my review. Whether you rent or purchase his documentary, you'll be definitely supporting his guys as well as my little channel. So be sure and click down on the links below inside the description. And again, thank you so much for subscribing to my little channel and offering your support. All right, I will catch you in the next one. Until then, bye for now.